What's up everyone, Wild Schneider Outdoors, and today, got a lot going on. So, good news, bad news. Bad news first, the fridge did not show up. That's okay. Good news, we went and got everything we need for the paneling on the side. So we're gonna start paneling up the sides. We got everything we need to go ahead and finish off the frame in here, get the door in. We actually got the, let's see if I can show you guys in here. We got the one piece for the shower. So that's good, we'll get all the walls put in there. And then we're gonna finish up kind of getting this all waterproof, get the water heater put in, all that fun stuff. So lots of stuff going on today. Hopefully we can get most of it done. I know it's supposed to storm later, so we can, fingers crossed, get the holes cut in the trailer and get everything secured before the rain starts coming down. Stick around. Update. We had to put some plastic in here. Lovely storm came through. And what did I come in and find this morning? Water, lots of water. So thank you Dometic for making a crappy product that drains water into the trailer and not out of it. So now we get to take our time and spend that fixing their manufacturing mistakes. So that's whatever, fine. I don't even have the fridge yet and I ordered it in April. That's Dometic's problem. So if you're gonna buy a fridge, don't buy Dometic, go with someone else, but yeah. We're fixing this and then we can get started on the rest of our projects that we want to get done. All right, framing and walls coming together nicely. We got the interior wall set up here. Really dark, but platform from the tub. Walls going up, we'll get the surround in here eventually. There will be a light and fan put in here and then we got to finish up this wall, hopefully get the door in today and we can start on the actual wall itself for the rest of the trailer. Okay, so per usual, got into the project state of mind, didn't quite get everything recorded that I wanted to get recorded, but good news is the interior wall of the bathroom is in and the door is in. So, got a door, got a ni nice cute little doorknob, it's really dark in here. Oh yeah, can't really see much, but walls are in, we have plastic sheeting that's going to go in here. Of course, as soon as you start getting ahead on one thing, something goes wrong and you got to <laughs> modify. But wall is completely in. I think we'll keep this video going just a little bit longer as we continue working on this. So it is dark out, running on lights on the trailer. But yeah, we'll keep this video going. So stay tuned. All right, we are back. And what a gorgeous day it is. I thought it was going to be a nasty, nasty day. Turns out blue sky, it's gorgeous out. So we're going to go back in the trailer and we're going to go ahead and start on the walls. There's not a whole lot more I can do on the bathroom. I'll show you guys. I know we got a peek at it yesterday, but got the wall figured out right here. It did rain last night and water did get in the trailer, but because we put this plastic down and because we got some caulking on there, it was nice and sealed off. No water damage on the wood, that's a plus. So here we are, the bathroom. Now, really dark, I don't have the lights wired in yet. They'll be in soon, but got the tub, gotta get that put in, the surround, and then of course the plastic on the walls because this is gonna be a breeding ground for mold if you don't get some sort of protectant in here. So anyways, plan for today, we went out and we bought what we're gonna be using. I'm gonna call it siding, really it's just hardwood floor, but we're gonna go ahead and start the layout of the hardwood floor on the wall before we nail it up, glue it up. Uh, you gotta do a test fit just to be sure everything fits nicely. So we'll start on that and go from there. Okay, so this is what we are working with today. Now, a lot of you are probably like, wait a minute, that's for floors. Yep, you are 100% correct. This is for floors, but two things. One, weight, like W-E-I-G-H-T, weight. The weight of the wood that it would take to cover the entire sidewall of this trailer and how we wanted to do it and the color we wanted to do it would have been immense. That's a lot of weight to put on. This stuff is much lighter than lumber and it's also thinner so we're not sacrificing as much space. Number two, price. This right here is about 58 cents or so per square foot. Now we have to cover 210 square feet of wall. That's just wall. So looking at the wood, we're going to do, well, cedar, first of all, tongue and groove, 
was about $4 or $3.50 a square foot. Pine tongue and groove was $1.80 a square foot, but it was thicker. So we decided to go with this. It should look nice. We don't have to stain it. It's vinyl. Yes, I get it. It's for flooring, but guess what? This is also a trailer. So not a huge deal. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start with the wall. You got to rough it in first. You got to make sure everything fits before you start nailing it and gluing it down. Because once you do that, you're done for. It's stuck. So that's what we're going to do today. Hopefully it, uh, it all works out. Fingers crossed. Okay, two things before I get into the fast forwarding portion. This is all secured now. It's looking good. That was a massive headache trying to get all that to line up, but it's in now. So that looks good. It's Brad nailed in. I'm going to start securing. Tell you what, that guy right there needs a nail. Ta-da! It's in. All right, so that's all in, looking good. Another thing, second part, we made a purchase. We had to. I was getting so sick and tired of doing it all by hand, so got ourselves a nice DeWalt table saw. Stoked. All right, let's get going. I need to get this done. point here show you what we got going on so instead of boring you with the monotony of cutting and stapling and gluing and and brad nailing and cutting and yeah so we got it all put in from the bottom we got that first layer in to make sure everything was nice and level brought it all the way back got it tucked behind that beauty ring and up against the wall here so we're gonna stop the wall here and then just let this natural trim be here there's a lot of wiring behind there that I really don't want to mess with, so we'll leave that there. But yeah, we got a lot more to go. We kind of reached a stopping point here with the windows. We need to make window sills, but hey, we got a good chunk of the wall done. I think I bought way too much paneling, so that'll be nice to go ahead and uh, take some of that back. But yeah, I feel like that should be good enough. Then we got to do this wall. We'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, We'll see. The weather's nice and it's Memorial Day weekend, but hey, appreciate you spending time with me today. I know that we've been jumping back and forth between bathroom and fridge and water heater and wall, and it just depends on the tools we have that day and what we can get done. So if you want to, go ahead and hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment. I love responding to the comments, reading all the comments, just getting back, uh, answering your guys' questions and whatnot. So leave a comment, and if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. You know, we got a lot still left to do. It feels like we're getting close to being done, uh, but I know there's still a lot to do. But hey, if you want to subscribe, these videos are coming out all the time uh, as we get work done. So thanks so much for spending time with me today. And as always, stay wild. Stay wild.